what is your what is the White House's view on extending these provisions to the executive branch? I understand that there's been a furtive, I mean, not a furtive, that's the wrong word, a, a very public, uh, although humorous, attempt by some on, uh, on, uh, among the House Republicans to uh, suggest that that's an issue when the absolute fact uh, is that uh, there are far more uh, stringent uh, rules and restrictions on the executive branch already in place, uh, as uh, I'm sure they know. Uh, and I would quote from an article on a slightly separate issue, issue today uh, in, uh, I think, the Washington Post. Uh, public citizen uh, government, uh, public citizen, uh, as you know, is a government watchdog group. Uh, Craig Holman said, quote, the executive branch has far strict, stricter ethics standards than Congress does. And Congress has set these standards. The executive branch can't steer contracts or work to businesses where family members work. They can't even own stock in industries that they oversee, unlike Congress. It's complete hypocrisy. So, uh, again, we are fine with the Stock Act as it emerged from the Senate. We certainly look forward to the House uh, taking action uh, as it sh appropriately should on this bipartisan measure, and, and, and the President will sign it into law. Uh, I, I am just struck by the effort to water it down behind closed doors, uh, uh, you know, presumably because of objections by financial institutions and their lobbyists.